Hey guys, what's up? It's Arthas, and uh, today we got exciting news. Uh, as you guys know, I've been, been using uh, 2080 Ti for a while, uh, and you know, since they released the announcement of the 30 series, I really, really wanted like a 3070. Uh, so I've been like trying to get my hands on a 3070, you know, one of the 30 series, but I couldn't, right? But uh, recently, I got really lucky. Nvidia actually sent me a copy of the 3080 series so i'm really really lucky i guess i don't know what to say um i wanted to buy a 3070 but you know they sent me a 3080 so i guess that's uh more than i wish for yeah so i would like to thank nvidia for this uh palette gaming pro uh overclock 10 gb geforce rtx uh 3080 thank you so much man thank you so much uh what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm gonna unbox it and then later i'm gonna get my um IT guy, my technician, uh, you know, the guy that assembled my PC um, to, to, to get it in. So I'm going to, you know, make this video with my current card before I, you know, send this card off and, uh, you know, uh, use this new baby here, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, another box. Yep. Yeah, let's open this. Mm. User manual. I don't think we need that. So let's go straight to the card. Oh, here's the card. Let me open it. Oh, looks nice. Looks clean. Looks very nice, very clean. The sides. And, oh, the, the top. Wow, this looks good. I like it. I like it. Oops. I like it. Very, very clean. Very, very nice. Mm. Alright, I'm going to get my guy to uh, put this in. So I'll see you guys later. Yes, me lord. What is it? More work? What? Righto. Yes, me lord. All right. Off I go then. I guess I can. If you want. No one else available. That's it. I'm dead. Ready to work. Ah! You're the king? Well, I didn't vote for you. We found a witch. Okay, now the assembly is almost done. I'm gonna talk about some of the features that uh, comes with the RTX technologies. Okay, first thing I want to talk about is uh, ray tracing. Uh, by now, everybody know what is ray tracing. You know, we all like to call it RTX on, right? Well, ray tracing is uh, basically the pinnacle of gaming graphics, right? It simulates the physical behavior of light to bring real-time cinematic quality rendering to even the most visually intense game. So what it does in a nutshell, right? I'm not a brochure guy. I'm not going to just read the brochure and tell you what it is. I'm just going to tell you my experience with RTX on. What basically it does, for me anyway, is when you turn it on, yes, you experience a few FPS drop, but it overall improves the quality of the graphics. Like the most prominent one you will see is, you know, the lights, the shadows, uh, the reflection. It's amazing. You can you you can kind of tell, you know, if you spend hours and hours of um, playing some of these um, FPS games. For me, I play a zone a lot, as you guys know. So, you know, sometimes I obviously, you know, value performance over quality but every now and then right when i feel like indulging myself with really nice um graphical quality i will turn rtx on and i immediately can tell the difference the difference in the reflections the difference in the shadows you know the difference with the lighting everything just seems more um realistic and i think that's what rtx is about and i think it yeah it works it's it's amazing like i said earlier almost every game now has rtx on like you can see, even World of Warcraft have it. I mean, I didn't set it for World of Warcraft, but hey, if you want it, the option is there. You know, turn it on, and probably you'll see a huge difference, you know, in graphics quality. Okay, next I want to talk about NVIDIA Reflex. What is NVIDIA Reflex? NVIDIA Reflex is a technology that is available in uh, GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs and in NVIDIA G-Sync monitors. All right, what it does, it, it reduces system latency or what we call the input latency, the input lag, you know, for FPS gamers, you know, we know, we know, we know, we know what the term means. So basically, uh, it allows you to acquire targets faster. It allows you to react faster. It allows you to increase aim precision through a revolutionary suite of technologies built to optimize and measure system latency for competitive games. So when you play sports games, action games, or even FPS games, a one second delay can determine who wins or loses. That is why, you know, having good input latency is so important. 
And for these RTX 30 series cards, they have this option to turn it on. And you can see for some games, in this case, uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare slash Warzone, there's this option to enable it. And not just that, some games even have this option to enable and boost, as you can see here. Turn it on, feel the difference, see the difference, embrace the difference, win games. Let's go, easy game. Next, I want to talk about DLSS. Now, what is DLSS? DLSS stands for Dynamic Learning Super Sampling. Before I go deeper into what it is, uh, as of making this video, sadly, Warzone and uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare doesn't have DLSS support yet. However, uh, I have my hands on a copy of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and uh, this version of Call of Duty does support DLSS, so I will demonstrate it in Cold War. That being said, NVIDIA has already announced that DLSS will be coming to Warzone, so that's good news. As you can see, when I had my DLSS turned off, I was only managing 160 to 170 FPS, which is pretty good still, pretty good for, you know, for a game like Cold War, having 160 to 170 is still pretty good. And as you can see, as soon as I turn it on to any settings, in this case quality, you notice that my FPS just goes up from 160 to 70 to 170, 80 to even 190 right now consistently just by turning it on. It's pretty amazing. And here I turn it to my favorite setting, which is performance. As you can see, it's still managing about 180 to 190 FPS. So it's pretty consistent. It's a very consistent uh, resolution upscale and also maintaining this frame. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Now this way, I'm going to turn it back down to disable. And you will notice that the FPS will go back down all the way to, you know, uh, earlier when I disabled it, which is like 160 to 170. So yep, it works. So I'm going to explain to you what it is, all right? DLSS is an NVIDIA RTX feature that uses AI to push a game's frame performance higher. So this is what 4 pixels looks like, for example. It is an upscale technology. So when you're using DLSS, your GPU is effectively generating an image at a lower resolution, and DLSS will then add additional pixels to upscale the picture. So once it upscales and decides which pixels needs to be filled, it will then use AI to effectively fill up this pixel so that you are running at lower resolution, but then the image that you see is presented as a higher resolution. It's pretty crazy, right, if you think about it. You are literally running at lower resolution, which then result in a significant frame boost. So you are getting the best of both worlds. You are getting high frame rate and high resolution at the same time. What I really want to talk about is the NVIDIA broadcast. So what is NVIDIA broadcast? Um, as of last year, right, when they released the RTX card, they rolled out this software that helps content creators, for me a streamer, with uh, some amazing RTX technology. So uh, what it does uh, from microphone. So, uh, you know, sometimes we can hear things like this, you know, like for example, okay, right now, you know, noise remover is off. If I were to type, you can kind of hear the typing, right? It's kind of pretty loud, right? Right? So let's just say if I turn it on, and of course I can adjust the strength. In this case, I'll do maximum strength. You'll notice that the typing now is gone. Freaking amazing, right? So let's just say I turn it off again. You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear, you're, you're gonna hear a lot of typing. You know what I mean? So yeah, and and this is not just limited to like small sounds like this. The louder the sound, the better. Like for example, sometimes my wife will come into the room and vacuum the floor. Sometimes you know I live in an apartment, there will be people drilling upstairs, and you, can, you know sometimes when I'm streaming, people are asking, "What is that sound? Who is the one in the background vacuuming? Who is the one drilling?" I'm like, "Yeah, I can't be helped. You know, it's the daytime." But with this, you technically can remove all this sound. It's amazing. Now you guys might be wondering, this only works for you, right? What about my friends? Let's just say, you know. For example, you know, I, I click a lot, I type a lot. People can hear me say on voice chat or on Discord, right? So, you know, this only works for me. This only works for myself. This only works for my audiences. But what if, you know, what if you have a friend in your voice chat that you are playing games with, playing FPS games with? What if they also have someone, you know, vacuuming in the background or, or drilling in the background? Or even they themselves have like really loud, you know, mic source and you can hear that clicking, typing and stuff. This is, you know, this is why, you know, I want to tell you guys about the, the another feature. This not only just work for your microphone, this also work for your audio source. Now, what does this mean? This means that whatever I did here, you know, my noise removal for my microphone, this noise removal 
also work for your audio source. So those clicking, whatever I demonstrated, will also work for your audio source. That's that's freaking amazing, right? So you will no longer, once you turn it on, you will no longer hear. I mean, they do have some sample sounds. I guess I can, you know, do it here. Hi there. This is a test message with air conditioning in the background. Normally, it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result of this background noise. But with NVIDIA's AI-powered noise removal, distracting sounds can be removed so you and your audience can hear loud and clear. Right? So you can hear the air conditioning, right? Now, this is a wave file. So obviously, you know, what, whatever audio source that you set on, you know, people talk to you on, um, on Discord or on voice chat, this is what it will sound like. Somebody, you know, having their you know, background noise. So when you turn it on, for your audio source. Hi there. This is a test message with air conditioning in the background. Normally, it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result. The air conditioning sound is gone. Now I continue playing. Let's see whether I can like turn it off midway and you can immediately feel the difference. Same wave file, right? Same source, right? Same audio source, right? Hi there. This is a test message with air conditioning in the background. Normally, it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result of this background noise. But with NVIDIA... For me, this is a game changer. Amazing. I really like this one. And now we're going to the last one, the camera. It's in beta, but I think it really works amazing. So as you can see, you know, I set up, uh, I changed my scene, right? So I can show you, you know, in the NVIDIA broadcast, what it does. So in here, I set my camera already. Uh, so there's a lot of effects that you can do. Um, you can, I use a green screen. Let me, let me just go to green screen first. So I just say, I don't put on my chroma key, as you can still see my green screen. So they have this option right here that you can do background removal, which is kind of like green screen. Let me just turn it on, right? I turn it on. It works just like green screen, right? So you don't really need a green screen. You don't really need to set up um, chroma keys. You immediately can achieve green screen effect. Now you can also do, obviously, background replacement. So it's like green screen and then you can, you know, you choose your background files here and then you can just make it looks like a green screen already, basically, right? And also you can set for performance or set for quality, right? Auto frame. This one is pretty mind blowing for me because what it does, it actually tracks your face. I don't know how they do it, but somehow it does. It traces your face. I, I mean, I will find, uh, one day I want to try to find a use for this to embed in my stream, but you know, it's, it's really am amazing to have. Now, the next one that I'm really, really, really excited to show you guys is the background blur. This one right here is amazing. You know, sometimes I want to use green screen, sometimes I don't. Having background blur is amazing. I, I really love this effect. That's why I saved this for the last to explain to you guys. Like, this is normal. This is background blur. And of course, you can set the blur, the, the blur strength. It just looks amazing. Like, I become the main focus and I can achieve this amazing vi visual effect. A lot of people are trying to find ways to embed this, you know, type of effects. The microphone noise cancellation, background blur uh, and stuff. Or some people don't have a green screen. But, you know, this, this software right here just does everything for you. So for me as a content creator, this piece of software right here, this piece of tech right here, amazing. And hey, if you got an RTX card, download this, it works. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's not very well put together. I'm not like a very good video editor, so I apologize for that. But hey, I try my best. I try my best to, you know, share my experience with all this new tech and with these new graphic cards. Again, thank you Nvidia so much for sending, you know, one of these to me, the 3080. Elite Gaming Pro OC version. I really, really appreciate it. And hey, I hope I did a good job and hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys, um, you know, get one of these cards and experience all this stuff that I explained in the video. And thank you so much, man. Thanks for watching.